The EFF Student Command is threatening to shut down universities if they refuse to accept walk-in applications. It also wants free registration for students who failed the 2018 academic year. Numerous institutions are encouraging prospective students to rather apply online. Most universities have received scores of applications that far outstrip their capacity. EFF Student Command leader Peter Kietze joins us now. Good evening, sir. Thanks very much um, for your time. From what we have heard, like literally a few minutes before you came through, it is that this is no longer a threat. You have now decided uh, that you're going to um, bring these universities down. Well, look, I think we have uh, tried to exhaust all the avenues that uh, you know, we could get help from. And uh, we spoke to the department, we wrote them letters, and uh, their response was very arrogant. And we are left with no choice but to listen to our people on the ground. They are the ones who will be the leading these particular shutdowns. And we, we, we won't reveal when and how it will happen. They must know that. They must prepare for the total shutdown of all institutions in this country. Because uh, we have realized that young people have been taken for a ride, who are only taken serious when one speaks about the uh, elections. You know, uh, uh, they will be coming saying it's important that young people vote, but no one entertains the fact that thousands and thousands of students today are being rejected on, on the basis that there is no sufficient space. While we know very well that uh, we are advancing in the fourth industrial revolution and you, you, you wouldn't uh, you know, dispute the fact that you can even have online classes where you don't have to physically be on classes. So we, we have appealed with the universities, we have appealed with the, the department to try to increase the enrollment number, but uh, they seem to be very ignorant in, uh, in, in responding to our call. So you wrote letters to the department, you say. Um, did you write letters to universities or did you engage with them, like ask for meetings where you sort of explained your position? Well, 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 look, the Students' Command is leading in majority, if not most, of the institutions of higher learning in this country. And it is part of our manifesto. Whatever we have written to the department, it is outlined there in our own uh, manifesto. And our SRC in, in, in their respective institutions have it clearly met with the, uh, the, the institution's principals. And this was uh, discussed and many of, some of them they allowed walk-ins, some of them in, in other cases they meet us halfway. But there are those universities which appear to be very arrogant and uh, we know how to meet arrogant. But from what you've just said, you're going to shut down all universities. Not Remember, Yes, remember where we said we need free registration across board, right? We do not want to hear stories of saying this one is getting this much and this one is not getting this much because the registration figure, that, that price tag is meant to exclude the poor. It is meant to exclude the poor in the sense that when we, whenever we apply, there is a list called the waiting list. That waiting list is only for rich people waiting for the poor people not to have that 15,000 rand for registration. Once you do not produce that 15,000 rand, a week after next, they are going to say, we couldn't meet the number of people who should register. And therefore, we are allowing those who are in the a, 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 a waiting list to come and register. And who will come? Eventually, it, are the people who have that money and those are the the people who, who, who are rich of course so we are saying let us not use this uh, divisive and uh, very problematic means of one to register we must be able to register for free without being charged as long as one gets admission from a certain institution and they can confirm that this student is going to be studying here with us enrolled in this program we must then be, be able to be allowed to register without being charged so what does total shutdown mean what well, kind of activities should we expect? Well, we can't reveal our own uh, strategy of attacking the enemy because the state has become the enemy of young people and we, ha we ought to demonstrate why we say the state is uh, an enemy of young people in this country. We can't be used uh, every time when comrades want uh, a vote, they come and say young people must be taken serious. Let them take us serious now. Let them allow students to register for free. Let them allow those walk-ins that uh, the lines continue to be longer. University of Johannesburg, there's a VC there called Marwala, a black man who's more white than other white people. And we must warn him that uh, his day also is coming. Well, are you going to allow students who may not be keen to join your protests? Look, we, 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 we engage everyone. It is not the EFF Students Command uh, 
a, a program or a shutdown. It is a generic pro, a, a, a crisis. It is going to be attended by everyone who is uh, affected. Remember, next week there will be seniors coming back from holidays wanting to register. Majority of them, they do not have finances to settle their previous year's debts. Many of them universities are, are refusing them to re-register. Why? Because they are still owing, you know, exorbitant num uh, num figures there of money. So we are saying they must be able to clear those debts also because many of them have undergone through the process of appealing their NSFAS status of last year. NSFAS has never came back to them. And I'm speaking about thousands and thousands of senior students whom we continue to encounter on the ground. So they, this program of action is going to be led by affected young people of this country who is either you are, you, you are being denied access or you are being denied to have access to your own qualification on the basis that you are owing. How much organization are you putting into this and to ensure that, for instance, there's no destruction of property, uh, lives are not lost, and so on? Well, uh, we, 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 hence I said we can't reveal what will happen. Uh, it will be very premature of me as a president of the Students' Command to outline to you on how we are, we are going to demonstrate. We might but, be but is that cars. an issue for you? In other words, hey. as you organize, I mean, this, is that even an issue for you? In other words, do you say, this is what we're going to do, but we're going to, we have to ensure that um, lives are not lost, property uh, is not destroyed, and so on? Well, of course. I mean, is that a consideration? I mean, that should be a consideration of any reasonable uh, movement. I mean, we, we obviously wouldn't want any loss of life. We wouldn't want any properties to be damaged. I mean, all our many institutions, especially the previously disadvantaged institutions, they are just messed up by themselves. So going and breaking things will just be worsening the situation because they are bent down automatically the way they are standing as we speak. Okay, so we're going to leave it. Thanks very much for coming through. EFF Student Command Leader Peter Kietza.